I'm Gabriel Spector in Bedford-Stuyvesant, and this is my New York. I'm a public artist first. I do do work illegally, but mainly it's just about getting the work out. I was influenced by it by starting as a graffiti artist. Now, today I would say the only thing that may influence me about it is the locations that people choose. The gentrification project is basically about different nuances of it and it's about how it affects people. And the way I did this was by creating these billboards, which is a format really easy for people to view. It's easy for them to take in. They already expect to be sold something. I spoke about, you know, the idea of ethnicities changing in the neighborhood, almost calling it an invasion. I talked about the prices of groceries that are in a neighborhood and the type of stores and shops. And then I also touched on the idea, which is similar to the eminent domain on condos and how these condos are changing the face of, you know, Brooklyn and especially North Brooklyn and Bed-Stuy and these parts. The decisions usually come by testing. I test the locations, I go, I scout them out. In this type of art where you're putting something out without permission, you have to be almost in a way, you have to kind of balance where you want people to see it, but you don't want it too recognizable. How can this piece stay? Now part of that is in not making it too evident. It can't just punch you in the face because if it's overpowering, it's going to be removed very quickly. Each work is, is usually takes a long time for me to do, and I like it to be, you know, very one of a kind. So it does alarm people to say, like, how can you handle just like putting all this work in and letting it go away? But for me, it's like I never had that much attachment to it anyways. I feel better, not when it goes away, but when I know that it's gone through a cycle. Because it's not really about me, it's more about other people seeing it and about how they perceive it. And I think that's why I like it so much, and that's why I'm so proud of it.